Oh, man, here we go, man. Finally, man. Finally. I thought I was getting scammed at first. We got TJX6 on the building, man, live from Say Cheese TV in Detroit, man. How you doing? It was good. Man, the number one question, man, is, is, is where the fuck you been at? Shit, I've been cooling. Recording music. Recording music. Shit. Staying at the crib, laying low, trying to get, about to get ready to drop this new music. Yeah, it's been like two years, man. Like, I mean, you just went ghost. Yeah, for sure, man. It's time Not to get dropping back no action, music. Though. Like, it's time to get back in action. I mean, are you still in Detroit? Yeah, for sure, right now. Okay. Because you've been moving around and, and traveling, you know, as of late. Hell yeah. So, I mean, what caused for you to just disappear out of nowhere? Really just my page getting deleted. That shit really unmotivated me to just drop because it's like, I got my YouTube still, but it's like how I'm going to promote my shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what caused the, you know, the Instagram to uh, be deleted? I, think it was, I used to post a lot of like gore shit, like people getting killed and shit, like dumb shit. But I didn't know the power I had, and they just deleted my shit. 500K. 557. Oh, I mean, down the drain. Yeah, and then you started another page, right? Yep, TJX6 New. Everybody go follow the new page. TJX6 New. Like brand new. TJX6 yeah, New. Yeah, but I mean, even after that, you started pages and then it would then it they would go away. Getting deleted. I don't know what the fuck. I think Instagram, I don't know. My shit yeah. just keep getting deleted. Yeah, because I had a long talk with Ugly God, man, and Ugly God had like 2 million followers and he feels the same way. He's like, why would I put out new music if all my fans can't even see me promoting this shit? Right. So after that, I mean, you was just like, fuck it. I'm going to just chill for a little bit and try to get the page back. Yeah, trying to get the page back. I've been recording music, though. I ain't never stopped recording music. That shit ain't going to never stop. You feel me? But shit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because even when our page got deleted, I started a, a backup page. So now... um. When I do want to post like shootings or fights or gore shit, I'll just post it on the backup page. Right. You know, it's just a, it's just a, a throwaway page. So if something happened, I, I got another page that got a half a million. Exactly. Yeah. Man. So, I mean, the last thing we really heard about you were you signed a million dollar deal and then you you basically blew it. That's what Cashier Kwan said in our viral interview. Basically, the money is like. I basically I don't got as much as I had. I don't got millions no more. But a niggas had nigga had millions. Niggas can't say that they had millions ever in their life. You feel mm -hmm. me? Name me name me one nigga who can say they had a million. Yeah, and this is the deal that you signed, right? Right. I mean, did you tell Cashier Quan that you was going to give him some money? Because that's what he said. I he said he was going to give him fifty thousand. This nigga want to get on interviews, capping and shit. I gave the nigga some bread. Like, he just a bum ass nigga. He don't know what to do with bread. He get money, want to go spend it on hoes and all this little dumb ass shit. Yeah. I mean, how much did you give him? I ain't give him 50. I gave him like 35 type shit. As soon as I got, as soon as the money hit the bank account, I gave him like 35. That, that's, a, that's, that's, that's sweet. That's what I'm saying. For, for doing nothing. Yeah. You know, it seems like a lot of times in life you can't, there's nothing you can do to please people sometimes. I'm telling you, man. Nobody. I mean, when's the last time y'all spoke? Shit. About three years ago. Man, because y'all was with each other every day at one point. I was taking care of that little nigga. Yeah? Literally. I mean, explain that. Is that like putting him on licks or? No, nah, taking care of him. Meals, outfits, his car, his rent, everything. Yeah, because I mean, in our interview, he pretty much says you ran off with the flow. Man, that nigga, what is he talking about, bro? Go do your research. Everybody go do their research. I've been talking crazy. I'm actually the nigga who told him to start freestyling. He was writing all his music. As soon as I told him to start freestyling, that's his shit. Start getting momentum again. 
So are you still signed to Atlantic? <sighs> it's like a it's an iffy situation. I'm really trying to pay my way out the deal right now so I can go back independent and start dropping music on my shit. Making all my music, I'm making all my money from the music and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, how much are they saying? I it's gonna cost you I to, to buy your way out the deal. I recouped half of it. I probably got to pay like 170k back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, when you signed, because you know, I'm hearing it was a million dollar deal, ten million dollar deal. It was a massive deal, though. It was. A, it was a massive deal. It was a. It was a big deal, for sure. A, a deal that changed your life, for sure. And do you think at that time so many people were, because money brings problems. Everybody wants to cut. Everybody feel like they was there from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, you got your family. You got your mom, your your, your pops that, that feel like you got to take care of them because they raised you. You got your friends that, that probably did something for you back in the day. They feel like you owe them. What's that like having, I mean, at this time you're 18, 19 years old. You signed one of the biggest deals recently out of detroit basically what is what what is what is that like though um i really put in the work for that shit so it was really like i knew it was gonna come like i really put in the work i really went to the studio drop videos stay consistent spend my money on the shit you feel me so i knew it was gonna all come back one day yeah but i mean just everybody in your pocket everybody wants something from you did that become stressful after a while yeah, for sure. Especially when everybody know you got money and shit. Mm -hmm. Like my mama, she was seeing the, the checks coming to her house and shit coming, like the actual account, seeing the balance coming to her house. Yeah. So she was just calling and asking, and then other people, you know how that shit go. Yeah. So, I mean, you get the money, what changes? I mean, do you? I really been getting money forever. Like I've been doing this shit for, since I was like 12. I've been getting money forever. It's just. That's like a big lump of money. That's a million dollars. You feel me? That's what everybody dream about and say I want when they I want a million dollars and all that shit. But shit, when I got it, it was like I felt like I could do anything because you really can do anything that you want with a million dollars. So shit, yeah, basically. I mean, do you have any regrets? Uh, yeah, how much I spent in the beginning. I probably would have still had that because I still got some of the money from the deal. Yeah. And what was that? I mean, clothes, clothes, clothes. Uh, cars, houses, people asking for shit, jewelry, all type of shit. Yeah. So basically, what you're saying, Cash Air Quan is is lying. He said you went completely broke. That's that's a lie. Yeah, that's cap. Like, I, that's not even in me. Like, going completely broke. That's just crazy. Like, completely broke. Like, what do you mean by like like? Niggas got money, but niggas ain't got what they had. Niggas just ain't got millions like they had. You feel me? Yeah. So you just feel like you would have been more, you wish you would have been more firm when you first had the money. Right. Now, before we move on to the next topic, because when I when I did talk to Cash Air Kwan, he seemed hurt. You know, he genuinely seemed hurt. Like, he was loyal to you. You know, uh, y'all came up together. He was the blueprint to the scam rap shit. Do you ever feel like y'all will ever be back cool? That ain't gonna happen. He gonna have to square up with me first. Is that deep? Is that deep? I mean, no blood was shed. He didn't rob you like he said he did. He already came out and said it was cap. No, we gonna have to scrap. It's over. Before we even get cool, talk again. I mean, what did he do to you? He just, he dropping disses and shit. Like, he took it too far, so now I gotta get back. Before we even get cool. If we ever mm. get cool. Mm. Now, you, you're going viral. You're in the room with a girl. And you're allegedly, I mean, you are allegedly paying her for, you know, for intercourse. But you didn't want to pay her. Yeah, because that shit was terrible, man. Like, <laughs> that shit was horrible. Like, it wasn't worth the money. Especially for what she was charging. What was she charging? Trying to charge a nigga four hundred. It was nowhere. Near, it was worth forty dollars. I should have gave her that. <laughs> How much you end up giving her? Nothing. That's why she recorded the video. I mean, how do you meet is these? Do you meet these girls online or? It really was. It really was when I had my Instagram still. It'd just be like them. Them. What's the? What can I call them? Like them? Just 
go digging holes for real. Like they just be in your DM, just trying to get something out of nigga, and that did not work. So I mean, you was just like, how much? And she said four hundred. No, she actually said the price, and I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> so get you scammed it? her, basically. <laughs> <laughs> How, I mean, have you done that before? Not really. I ain't never had that type of experience. It's usually bitches pussy be good. I guess her shit was just terrible or something. Because most women make you pay them up front, right? Right. I've never, pay, I've never really paid for pussy before. So most women so you make you pay me, them up. So you telling me you never pay for pussy? Not intentionally, like up front. I'm gonna pay you the fuck, but you never took a girl out, did all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's paying. That's, that's paying for nah, pussy. That, nah, that's definitely paying. But it's just like. I mean, in your way, you save a lot of time. Like, shit, this what I exactly, want. Exactly, exactly. Like, I don't want to waste no time. This what I exactly. want. But it's just kind of like, once you do that, they always want you to pay them every time. Once you pay them, they always want you to pay them. Shit, I just planned on fucking her one time. I ain't going to talk to her ever again. <laughs> and this and this was in Detroit? No, no, no. This was in, like, I think this was, like, Arizona or something. I mean, what is your 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 BM, your baby mom, and you know people that know, that are close to you when they see that? What do they think? Shit, I don't care what they think. This, none of them approached you about that video. Even if they did, I, I wouldn't really care. Mm. So I mean, but you you started scamming since you was like set what at what no, age? No, no, I ain't gonna take it that far. I was like eleven, some shit like that, like eleven, twelve. And, yeah, and who put you on game? My big brother. Okay. And, I mean, what was the first thing that he taught you? It was really, um like, Twitter scam. And that's when Twitter was hot. Like, we used to fake sell Xboxes and shit like that. You like, used to fake sell them? Yeah. Like, say we got Xboxes for 300 or 250 They PayPal us the money, cash it out to the bank and go get it in the cash. Mm. But you do that to a lot of people, though. Like, All right. So before, so by the time they refund the money or do the the, the you scoop, already got yeah, the money. it's already gone. And that account, it's probably a burner account anyway. So I ain't really tripping on the account. At eleven years old, for sure, eleven, twelve, thirteen, around there, for sure. And you running it up, running it up. How much do you think you made around that time? Shit, probably like like seven, eight thousand, some shit like that. At eleven, yeah. I mean, what are what are other kids at school thinking? I mean, do you are you bringing the money yeah, to school? Yeah, I was bringing the money to school. They looking around like, what the fuck is this little nigga doing? My mama looking and shit like, duh. <laughs> For real. So what what was the next scam? Um, after that, it was the Instagram scamming and shit like that. That's when the Instagram came in, and then that's when I started buying punches and shit and bank logs and hacking into the bank logs, logging out, getting cashing out the money from them, all that type of shit. Okay, so the Instagram scam is explain that. Explain them. The Instagram, Instagram scam. scam is basically, it's basically like the Twitter scam. You basically saying on there you got designer shoes and this and that, or you can do it a lower way. Niggas be catfishing with niggas and shit. That ain't really the way. But shit, people like you can sell like Xboxes and shit. I don't really do it no more. That shit pointless. For it's like little money. But but you were using people. Like Black China and celebrities and shit to for do For sure. It. I was paying them for promo. I don't know why she got on that interview capping like I didn't pay her. But really, it's probably because she don't know me as TJX6. She know me as whatever account that it was that I was paying for promo for. Right. Yeah. So I I explain that 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 scam again. So you paid her 3000 I paid her 3000 She posted promo for like 24 hours on her page. This when Black China was like Black China. Like, you feel me? So. She posted on her page. She said, go go shop with this plug for the designer for the Xboxes and shit like that. And then all the customers, it just be grown ups, little kids trying to shop. You feel me? Shit like that. So once she posted you and promoted you as the plug, p tons of people came your way. Literally everybody. Anybody you can name. Like Detroit, I remember Detroit rappers was even messaging me. They thought it was real. I never <laughs> scammed one, but they was coming around for sure in the messages. <laughs> so you you refund well what do you do with the three thousand? You take the three thousand back from yeah, her, I can, right? Yeah, and you dispute the three thousand. She get the she go take it out of her bank, but I still dispute it and get it back. So it's exactly. Like, yeah. So all that people that came to you was free money. Basically. All the How much do you think you ran up just off that that whole off, off the Instagram scamming? Yeah. I was doing that for for some years. I probably made like three hundred off Instagram scamming. Three hundred thousand. 
for sure. 300 racks off Instagram scam. <laughs> and you can do it today still. People can do it today right now. So many yeah. people selling promos and shit. Everything. I mean, you know, at this time, what age were you were you doing that at? Instagram. I was doing that through like I was doing that through like like 14, 14 through 18. Cause when I signed my deal, I stopped all that shit. I was just rapping. You know? So you were doing that while you were rapping? No, I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. So because 14, what when did you start rapping? I started rapping when I was like 17. Like 16, 17. 16. Okay, okay. Man, so I mean, you're hitting links on Instagram and then you find out about the plug in the what you call them plug you the was promos, buying what? The promo. Promo. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm oh. talking about the the punching and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. The car is basically you go on the site on the dark website, you buy car information and you can order shit and people name and they card and shit. Who who's teaching you this shit? My big brother. I mean, have you ever worked a nine to five? Ever? Never. I don't even know what a, a um application looked like. Never even filled out an application. Never. Ever. Is it because the money's too slow? I just never had to. And it just never got too bad for me that I had to go get a job. Mm. Yeah, I used to um I used to sell fake uh fake doctor notes. Oh yeah, I think people still doing that today. Yeah, I used How to sell fake off the doctor notes. I used to sell them for like forty a piece. Okay. So I mean, this was this was like before say cheese. I'm still like living at my mom's house trying to make it. Shit. Right, right. Yeah, and then I used to sell the fake the fake car insurance too. So this was before the the cops used to scan the license plate and and look up the they could they now the police could look up your license plate and see if you got car insurance. But right. like ten years ago, you could have a, a fake like document. Right. And if they pull you over, you just show them the document and you wouldn't get a ticket for car insurance. So right. I, used to, I used to sell them bitches for like 80. But I mean. Yeah, shit, that shit ain't go, you ain't go get rich off that. Yeah, you're not going to get rich <laughs> off that. So, I mean, explain the the, the gift card uh, scam. The gift card shit. So basically, it's um, you just go in the store, you buy punches online and you uh get an MSR, you Buy the, you buy a punch, put the punch on a on a fake card, duplicate it to a fake card, go in the store, get gift cards, and go cash them in at your uh with your dude, whoever bought the gift cards from. Mm. Just like that. Yeah, easy. I mean, is this shit oh is it watered down now? Cause no a gift card, niggas still doing gift cards. I ain't gonna lie. I see I be seeing niggas do that shit. Niggas still yeah. fuck with the gift cards. Cause I mean, you didn't gave up so much sauce. You would think everybody doing this shit now, and it just it's it ain't green no more. I paid away for this shit. Everybody who rapping about scamming, and we know who, we, who I'm talking about. Everybody who rapping about scamming and and doing all this, I paid away, and everybody can everybody know that. Hmm. And you used to sell the scam bible too. Yeah, for sure. How much were you making, like just selling scam bibles to your to your fans and shit? Like where you scam really my fans, man. You weren't scamming your fans. Mm -mm. Cause cause I mean, there's something going around about you scamming your fan for two dollars. You see, but but do you know what I'm talking about though? Yes, I see it, but like, come on, bro. Like, like what? I think people think you're doing it just for the sport, for entertainment. Doing what? Scamming the, scamming your fans. I don't scam my fans. I just told you that. Cause this documentary is about you scamming your fans and man. people coming out saying you scammed them for a few hundred. Whatever, man. So that's cap allegations. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> so explain the scam bible. It's basically like uh some like some new methods. You get the cash app method. You get the um you get the Apple Pay method. You get like a whole bunch of bins inside of it. It's worth like five hundred dollars. You get like a whole bunch of money making methods inside. Of it. And, and how much you said it was for five hundred? Like five fifty, some shit like that. And how many fans were buying that from you at a, at, at the at the peak of your career, like at the top, at your hottest point? I told you I really wasn't scamming my fans, but if you want me to make up a number, it probably was. I probably made like a half a million off that off the fraud bible. I'm still selling it today. And these are That's methods my fans, that, though. right? And, and these are methods that you came up with. Yeah. 
Man, you may be one of the funniest rappers of all time, bro. <laughs> like, like, when, like, when's the last time you got your hair cut? I got my hair cut. So you, so you do get your hair cut now? Yeah, for sure. I've been getting my hair cut. <laughs> this nigga here, man. So you got caught with 13 fake IDs before. Yeah. And at what age is this? I was probably like um, 15. Take us through that night. Shit, we was coming back from the road. Shit, we stopped at the gas station. Trying to get some gas, got some snacks and shit. Some police came behind us to pull the, pull the car over. We had some, uh, had the IDs in the car because we just came back from swiping the shit. So we had the IDs in the car and then they pulled us over that we had all of them on. It was like me and two people. You get pulled over, are you nervous? Extremely nervous. What makes the police search the car? Because we were smoking. So he finds the IDs and, um, I mean, does he take them? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he locked us up. We was in yeah? Like, I think we was in, like, Kentucky. So y'all got locked up? Yeah. For how long? It was three days. We bonded out. 72 hours. Okay. Still fighting the case, though. Mm. Uh, what happened to that? I mean, did they throw it out? No, I said I'm still fighting it. So, I mean, is that the only time that, that happened to you? Uh, no, not really. I done got pulled over a few times. But not with fake IDs, but I got pulled over with some, a few things. Yeah. yeah. Were well, you ever into like the... Uh, I remember the iPhone scam was hot at a time when people mm -hmm. used to get iPhones and, people and other people's names and sell them. Doing really? that right now. Yeah. I, I thought that cooled down a little bit because, you Hell know, the phone no. companies was catching on to it. Hell no. It's a way around everything. Yeah, because I, I, man, my homeboy was making thousands a day yeah, doing that sure. shit. That shit going on right now. So that shit still, it's still green. Yes. Hmm. Because I, I mean, my homeboy, he's in the feds for it now. They, they, they cracked down on, like 40 people went to jail for that shit. That shit wild. Just for using like fake IDs to get the shit and you know, different yeah. ways around it and shit like that. So right. But uh Yeah, man, what 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 you think about the Detroit scene now? The rap scene? This shit fire, man. Everything, everybody on fire right now. I feel like I need to get back get my spot back in there. You feel me? I need to drop some videos, stay consistent. But everybody doing their thing right now. I feel like everybody in their own lane, nobody trying to Bump this person out the way or some shit like that. You feel me? So I fuck with it. Yeah. I think rap is boring. I think uh, we need some more entertainment. Like you. I feel like it was, when when you were doing your thing, it was fun and it was it was entertaining. It wasn't too serious. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't the same thing that we normally see. Yeah, people, um, I don't know. The world changed. You know, the world changed every year, every six months. Every day, the world, yeah, every, every damn day. week, it seemed like. Hell yeah. I mean, Baby Tron is, is definitely doing this thing too. Uh, he's also a rapper who talks about, you know, he has a lot of scam bars, punching and shit like that. Do you feel like he falls under your your tree too? I can't say that. I can't say that. Tron got it. Like I said, everybody got their own lane. Everybody doing their own thing. Mm. Yeah, Tron is like a. I think at first he was kind of scam rap, and then he kindly yeah he shifted over. That's, that's he what, shifted over. That's what I need to do. Yeah, he shifted over right on time before it became too exactly too. Everybody's yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, man. Uh, do you think? And, and it's funny because I interviewed Bandman about this, but Bandman, I, I watched the live, and you said that when Bandman got out of jail. You even made him start rapping about the scam shit. Yeah, he would tell you that. Because when I talk to him, he feel like he's the pioneer for the scam shit. I guess you can say for scamming, like, I never listened to no Bandman Kevo song. Like, nobody fuck with Bandman Kevo. Like, musically, people fuck with him probably on for him. And getting money and shit, but niggas don't fuck with yeah. Batman Kevo music. So you think when, 
Because there were a lot of people who were mad that you was giving up so much free sauce. But after you now look at the the punch, I think his name is Punch Made Dev. You got all these niggas who are coming out with tutorials on how to do this shit. Right. And it, and and I didn't see that shit till uh swipe story. Basically, yeah. Niggas my sons, man. Niggas know where that shit come from. Yeah. And you know, like I said, there were a lot of people who were mad that you were giving up so much free sauce. But then after that, so many other artists came well, with the same the blueprint. Exactly. Now it's just cool, I guess. Yeah. So I mean, punch made dev, you're out. I guess you're with your, your son. And punch made punch made dev, he caught you lacking. It ain't no caught me lacking. I was out with my son, we was at the mall, chilling. Nigga walk in with four people. He ain't show that nigga, he acting like he was by himself, nigga walk in with four people with a strap on him, legal strap. I walk up, try to square up with him. Nigga pull the strap, like, like damn near show the strap type shit. So I just walked away, I ain't about to lose my life, nigga with four people, you feel me? Yeah. Me and him Smart. got a boxing match coming up, actually. Smart, I mean, where does this whole, where does this beef come from? Is it because people, the fans compared y'all and, and it started? It's not really no beef. Like, like three years ago, it's a video on YouTube. We was on Instagram live. He just like, he just a fan. That's really what it is. He just a fan, bro. He just like try to take the wave. He just a fan, basically, at the end of the day. Yeah. And he's from Detroit too? I think he's from Lexington. Okay. Kentucky. That's K Kentucky. Mm -hmm. I mean- he pretty much took your style. That's what you're saying. Basically. How how did, how does that feel watching him go viral? And I mean, people give you your credit, but it it, it doesn't seem like people your fans are fighting for you. Like nigga, why are you jacking probably, this nigga shit? It's probably cause niggas don't what you saying? Like, I was about to say it's probably cause niggas don't know my Instagram. What you saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. It's like you don't see a lot of people speaking out about I mean, there are people who say, you know. And another people, thing, you know what it is? Another thing, when, it was that like 2019 when I was hot, niggas was kids still, you feel me? Like a, not, a lot of new fans and stuff are still kids. Like they little babies, like little ass kids. So they just finding out and they don't really know who I am. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. And then you were spotted in Walmart by somebody and it went viral. Walmart? I think you were you were somewhere shopping in in Oh in, yeah, oh yeah. I was in Meyer or Kroger or some shit. Yeah, this little lame ass nigga go he was on Facebook Live or some shit, go walk up with the camera out. Trying to do some shit. I punched the shit out that little nigga. Like, duh. <laughs> like, duh, I could have did him worse. Yeah. And then it's funny, uh, Ben Man Cabo went to Detroit looking he said he was looking for you. Yeah, bro. This nigga went downtown. Like that's the safest area in Detroit. I be in the hood. It, like that nigga yeah. went downtown. Yeah. Then you said uh, you went on live. You you said he only had two hundred thousand. You said I got more money than Ben Man. Yeah. At the time I did. Ben Man Kevo, he ain't had no money t a few years ago. He just got out of prison and shit like that. He ain't really had no money. If you go look at that one picture, Ben Man Kevo, he was sitting on the airplane. The nigga had fake money in the... I think you did the interview. I did. Yeah, it was fake money. You know it was fake money. I can't confirm. That shit was like four years ago. Yeah, that shit was fake, bro. You know it was fake. I mean, do you feel like you got more money than him now? No, Ben Man Kevo up right now. I ain't got as much as Ben Man Kevo right now. Yeah. You seem like you... You seem more level-headed now. By the way, by the way, Ben Man Kevo like 34. I'm 22. Hmm. You you seem way more level headed now. Yeah, for sure, man. Had to get myself straight. I ain't doing no drugs and shit like that no more. You were heavy on drugs before? Not drugs, but perks and lean and shit like that. Mm. I mean popping perks every day? Yeah. Perk thirties, perk tens. Yeah. Oh uh, no, well not no thirties. I ain't going that crazy. Mm. I'm fit. I ain't trying to kill myself. I'm just trying to get high. Yeah. I mean, what made you, when did you realize you had to slow down? Shit, really, like, it's just not cool no more. Like, I really just smoke some weed and just chill. 
I mean, did you think it affected your your day to day? You know, your 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 work ethic for sure. Did it start affecting your relationships with people, having mood swings and shit like that? Right. For sure. That shit is like it throw your whole day off, really. If you let and it. Then, yeah, and then now you're a family man. Exactly, right, right. Yeah. How many kids you got? Two. Okay. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh so born and raised in Detroit. Yeah. In Detroit, not Southfield, not. Sterling Heights, none of that. Detroit. Yeah. I mean, one of the dangerous cities in America. What, what was that like growing up? What was some shit that you had to go through and experience? Shit, I really went through, I've been through a lot of shit, fam. A lot of shit. I don't even like to speak on it. Yeah. Did you have your, your mom and dad in your life? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, was it a struggle? Was it cool? Was it dysfunctional it was it was a struggle to be honest it was a struggle it was a real struggle like it was bad yeah. i mean what were you doing to get by at a young age i mean and the shit that you were doing was to get by yeah but earlier like before that before the scamming and shit it was just you know shit just nothing really shit just living broke as hell <laughs> like <laughs> duh. Uh, and it was just you and your brother. Uh, no, 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 no. I got like eighteen brothers and sisters. God, yeah. Same so, mom. I think and more dad? than that. I think more than that. Nah. Same mom and dad. Hell no. Nah. I mean, but how many of y'all were living in the house together? I was. I was by myself. Okay. Yeah. I was the only only kid by my mom. Yeah. And did you graduate high school on time? Mm -mm. Drop out? Yeah. It worked at out though, grade, so I ain't tripping. At what grade it was at what grade did you drop out? Like seventh or eighth going into high school, going into eighth. Damn, that early? Yeah. Did you slowly stop going or were you just like mom? Yeah, I can't I, slowly, I can't do this shit. No, I slowly stopped going. It was like I show up and then stop going for two weeks and show up, some shit like that. Was that because you were getting so much money at a young age? For sure. And it was it just felt pointless. School, you don't they don't really teach you nothing. Like, nothing that you can use in the real world. That you can that you can use in the real world. Exactly. True. Man, I think you have such a unique fan base. I always did I never I never understood why you didn't become a YouTuber or a streamer. I never understood. I, I was talking to my homeboy when I told him that I locked an interview with you, and I just don't understand why. Because you look at the 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 Casanets and the Aiden Rosses, and you have that. You got the hood fan base, but then you got a lot of weirdos who fuck with you too. I wouldn't call them weirdos. I just call. I them. don't want to call them weirdos, but hipsters like hipsters, yeah, yeah, yeah. gamers, different streamers. fan base. Mm, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, so basically, it just. Uh, it's just like a different, the music brings those type of different fans. It's just not mm. like this everyday music. It's not like that tough ass music. It's just, it's just a different type of fan base. Yeah. I mean, but once you start doing the YouTube vlog and shit, I feel like people want to see your life. People want to sure. see your, your day to day. People want to see you scamming people. People want to see you go to the bank and scamming your barbers. And yeah, people want to see your day to day, man. I feel like that's why. I mean, your music was definitely catchy, but I think people people fell in love with the character. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I just sure. never understood why you didn't you didn't take you didn't really take that step into becoming a YouTuber. You got to think about it. You got to think about it. Now all of that shit is cool. Like people been vlogging, but the people who you talking about now is cool. Like people wasn't doing that in 2020, 2021. Like people wasn't popping fucking blog pages, posting streamers now every day. That's true. Like you feel me? That's true. Hey, room posting it's, streamers. It's a it's a totally different game now. Mm -hmm. Is that why you kind of been sitting back studying this shit before you pop out again? Definitely been studying. You feel me? Definitely been studying. But so you the feel music's me? Already, not gonna go ahead. I already I already know what I gotta do. You feel me? Everybody behind me, all my fans behind me. I just gotta drop the music and get them what they want, and they gonna be right there with me. Yeah. So the music's not gonna sound the same. 
That's what you're saying? It's not going to sound the same. It's going to sound better, actually. It's going like, to sound the same, but better. Because a lot of your old music, you were really saying some shit. It's just people didn't understand the flow. Exactly. You was really saying shit in a lot of records, but people just didn't understand the flow. And now if you look around, there are way more people talking in their raps, rapping off beat, having that unique shit going on. Exactly. They didn't understand that in 2018. Exactly. No, 2019, 20. 2017 through 18. Yeah, 19, oh, yeah, I see what you're saying, though. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um. So you were also locked in on Bitcoin early. Yeah, but I didn't buy it. Like, I bought some, but I didn't know what it was worth. I should have kept mm. that shit. Because I, I seen you said you could have been up 100 million if you would have yeah, knew. Yeah, because that's, that's about how much I bought. In today's age, that shit, well, I think, like, it's spiked now. It's spiked down now. But you could, if you had enough Bitcoin, you would be rich. You can be rich. I know somebody, actually, who got his house off of Bitcoin, everything. And, nigga, he a white dude. He, he cool off Bitcoin. Damn. So you been knew about it. You just didn't know that it was going to become what it is. Exactly. That shit would have been crazy. I invested that shit back then. I mean, besides your big brother, who are, where are you, are you sitting down reading books and YouTube and this shit? Like, how were you getting all this knowledge? My brother. Who, shit, which, I... which brother? The other rapper? Uh, Kev. Kev. So Kev is really putting you on game. Yeah, Kev is the one. Niggas look over Kev. Kev the one. How was Kev finding this shit out? I don't know. That nigga just, I don't know. Shit. That nigga just, that nigga goat, man. Man. Man, TJX6, man. Uh, So what else you got coming? Got this new album dropping, man. I need everybody to go follow my Instagram, though. TJX6 new, T-E-E-J-A-Y-X6 new, N-E-W. So let's get this overstood before we get out of here. You, you're not scamming your fans. You 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 didn't blow your million. You still got money. You're just trying to shake back from the Instagram, basically. Like, yeah. think about it. Think about it. If you had, okay, think about losing your YouTube or your your Instagram. Imagine you using your say cheese YouTube. You wouldn't want to start. You got a million subscribers, don't you? Yeah. You wouldn't want to start over. You would, but you wouldn't really be motivated. More, yeah, you feel me? Yeah. What do you think is the biggest... Could, do you feel like you're misunderstood in a lot of ways? As in what? Just period. Like, people just, they don't understand you. I guess you can say that. In what way, though? Shit, I don't know. Like, I don't really know. Hmm. Now, hold on, before we get out of here, the dark web, right? Yeah. You said that you seen somebody kill themselves on the dark web. Right. Red rooms. They used to be hot in like 2017. Red rooms. And you have to pay to get in the red room. Yeah. Like how much? It was cheap as hell, bro. You probably see somebody get killed for like $25. But it'd be like a whole bunch of people in one room. Like it's like a chat. But it's a video streaming. So it's live. Yeah, but it's not like no fake video. Like it's a real video. Like a real, real, somebody really torturing somebody in their basement and shit like that. Like are they killing themselves or it's just different? No, they killing. Every- yeah, it'd be different. Yeah, it depends. It'd be different shit going on. And you and you like watching shit like that? that I said that was in 2017. The dark web. What else? What else is on the dark web? Shit, kidneys, livers. Shit, like you can buy you can buy a kidney on the dark web. Yeah, for sure. You just paying Bitcoin though, so it don't get traced. What else? Like guns. Guns, yeah, guns. Uh, you can buy like um, like like girls, but. It's like you got to go to locations and shit, all type of crazy shit. Did you ever in your career ever think you were going to get locked up or raided or, um, you know, the government look into you because of how you were just giving away the, the game so raw? 
it's so uncut. Do you did you ever get any like did you ever think anything would ever come down on you? A Rico shit. It's possible. It's possible. Like your mom never called you and was like, yo, son, like we gotta have a talk. Like you, you gotta chill out. Like Yeah, that happened a few times, actually. Like the IRS when never the, when the you HBO it. when the HB when I did the HBO series and that and the retired um what's the the retired whatever he is like a cop or some shit when he talked about it that's when that shit got real like what do you mean it got real like that's when they that's when they just start I feel like I don't know I don't know I just feel like it gets serious after that because how the fuck yeah. how the fuck a, a a former FBI agent where he come from. So HBO, they reached out to you randomly. Yeah, for sure. How? What was that experience like? Shit, it was like, I ain't believe it at first, really. I got the email, but I ain't believe it at first. And then they scheduled this whole like shit. They got to come to Detroit, fly to Detroit, record, and all this. And then shit, it's just what it was. That shit was fire, though. It's still on there. I still get paid from it, too. So you get royalties from it? Yep. That's hard. You used to do the African scamming shit. Oh yeah, yeah. That shit. That shit. You re- that's where really all the money at. The African scamming shit. <laughs> that's where all the money at. I noticed they go after elderly people yeah. sometimes. Like the dating in the dating shit. Like the Africans go after like elderly people and try to like that's on like the dating scam shit. Right. But w- what were you doing? Like were you were you using the African voice too? No, I was really I was using uh it's like this voice changer app you can really do, and you can use Spoof. So I was using Spoof in this voice changer app, and then basically just you doing that, typing the shit. It's like AI. That's that's what AI was back then. You just type it, then they say it. Wow. But I had the same copy and paste message for every person. So how like how would you contact people? You just find their numbers like online through through sites they sign up through, through um, places they shopped, places like shit like that. And are people falling for it? Yeah, people fall for that shit. People make. I mean, so is it a crazy come up? Like, how much money did you make doing this? Uh, the most I made like in one payment was like ten thousand. A nigga sent ten. A nigga wired ten thousand. I mean, what? How did you react? Was you like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, (laughs) that shit. Yeah, yeah. But I've been doing this scamming shit so long. That shit. It's just normal. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> was it something you did pretty often? Uh, I didn't really have to do that, like, because I was doing the Instagram and shit, so I was really making my money from there. I mean, when you're calling these people and using the African voice, are they freaking out? Are they panicking? No, no they actually calm as hell. They be like, oh, what's going on with my money? What's going on with my account? And shit like that. And then that shit work every time. Almost every, every time. What, Almost. So what's the what's the percentage? Like ninety. It's like a it's like a ninety percent go through rate. Good green rate. God. Have you yeah, ever scammed though. one of your friends? No. Nah. Never. Probably because I didn't get the chance to. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if somebody was like TJ, what's the quickest way for me to make a hundred thousand? What would you tell them? Go on Amazon. Get a printer, get the whole printer set for 300 with the chicks, and do your thing. I'll tell you where the glass at. If you know, you know. And that's the quickest way to get a, that's easy. Yep. (laughs) What about, uh, I mean, so really you're looking at it like, there's no way niggas should be broke. Basically. It's too much ways to get money. It's, it's no way in the world people broke. In 2023, niggas broke? That's crazy. 2024. Man. Look, hey, I appreciate this interview. It's a classic. Uh, I, I, I want to see the comeback, man. I want to see the comeback. It's so much potential there. It's so much left on the table. I feel like you left a lot of money on the table. For sure. And uh, all my shit back, man, or everything that I missed out on. But it just seemed like you don't care about rap, though. I do. What you, why you say that? 
It's just, I don't know, man. Like, like you you don't tweet. Your Twitter's private. My Twitter, that's not my Twitter. My shit got that's hacked. Okay, so the hacker got hacked. I see. So somebody <laughs> <Right>. put you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, before we get out of here, uh, and I know I keep saying that, but, uh, man, I appreciate the interview. I can't wait to see the comeback. And uh, we definitely got to do another one. Most definitely. When I blow up again, I'm going to be back. <laughs>